when Ken districts have, she has come today here to Yeluru. We welcome you and we are happy to see you here. Now Yeluru has one parliamentary constituency and seven assembly constituencies. Please next slide. In color, that is called a Polaran constituency, which is a vast constituency reserved. Yes, the reserved constituency. That's yes, Polaran. Which has a, it has a boundary with the Telugudam district and uh, Badrajari Kottam. This particular constituency, the earlier LWE activity, but recently, few years back, and we have the biggest hydropower project, 5,000 uh, voters are there. Majority of them are female voters, 8,36,000 uh, broad women. Uh, we have covered with uh, all 44 polling stations are there in 1083 locations. So all this Apart from that, we have uh, rapid action teams uh, in uh, uh, four offices here. So uh, upon receiving any information or any complaint, we simply go. Uh, our head office also sharing us uh, uh, every day ECB tables based on and we have conducted a trade advisory committee meetings at the state level and regional level. Critical scenario on some other reasons. That's why they have appointed us also to just oversee the preparations and the working going on. The mandate given by ECI is to conduct elections in free and fair manner for which all of you are here, I am just covering the expenditure side of the elections. So, as all of you know, and everyone is in place, there are two types of expenses which ECI has described: legal and illegal expenses. For legal expenses, they have given the cap. The state administration has released the rates also for those expenses. So, you have to work accordingly. There are certain surrogate expenses like which you call it so, uh, social media news and this and that. That candidates or parties generally hide those expenses. So it is your job to bring that those type of expenses in that overall cap. And uh, as far as illegal expenses are concerned, that has to be stopped. And for which we are working as FSGs and SSGs, everyone is in. Now I will request all the departments to work together. Flow of information should be on real-time basis and the action taken by the concerned agency should be without loss of time. Particularly I will request income tax department to speed up their investigation process. Otherwise what happens that our grip loses on that information and the Samne Wala Army, which he has taken, he creates the evidence in his paper. So our whole exercise goes in few time. So our purpose is that work on real time basis, catch hold of these persons, so that the elections are free and fair. Certain examples I will give you, which I have experienced and shared by others, like Deposits in bank account. All of us talk about the withdrawals from the bank account. See, once there has been a withdrawal, I think before that withdrawal, there will be a deposit. So our alertness should be on the deposit. Because once it is withdrawn, then you cannot catch hold of that money and the person. Unless you catch hold of that person before he withdraws that money, you will not get any traces after. 